Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with the series of Spring Boot. So till this point what we were achieving is we were able to fetch data from the server and we were able to you know see that on Postman. So we tried using JSON and then XML. In this video what we are going to do is we will be posting data on the server. So we'll be using a post request to, to send data from a client to the server. Now in HTTP, we have different methods, you know, we have get for fetching data, we have post for submitting data, we have put to update data and we have delete to delete data, of course. Now we'll use a post here. So before that, what I will do is I will remove this produces because I want to support both now. I want to work with get as well. I want to work with JSON as well as XML. In fact, you can, you know, in the produces itself, you can give a comma here and you can mention JSON. But let's remove that, you know, it will support both now. Now, after doing that, what I want is I want to send data on the server. So when I say I want to send data, how will I do that? So I will go back to my postman. Now, whenever you want to send a data, you will use you will use the same URL. First of all, you will use a URL, which is alien. Uh, now, I know it's confusing, right? Because we already have a URL, which is alien, where you are passing the ID as well. The difference between the new URL which we are going to use now and the old one is the type of request. So we'll use a again it will be clear in some time. So we'll use a post request now and I want to send a data. Now how do you send a data? So to send a data we will be using a, a body here. So there's a there's an option of body in which you will mention the data. Now of course we have three attributes, right? We have AID, we have A name and tech. Now to do that, we have multiple options, you know, you can use a form data, we can use raw or we can use binary format. I'll be using a raw format here. Uh, okay, in fact, also we can also use form data. Let's try with form data first. Now in form data, you have to specify the key and a value pair. Example, we'll say AID and the value I want to go for is 106. And then we have another key in which we have a name, which is let's say in this case, I will mention Priya. And then we have tech and I would say machine learning. So we have these three attributes, right? We have three attributes and we have three values. Now, how will I send data? So it's first of all, it's a post request. This is the URL and then I will click on send. Okay. I got an error. It says 404. Of course, right? We have not done anything on server side. So resource is not available. So we don't have anything which will accept the request. So I will go back to my server. Now in this, we need to create a, a method which will accept it. Now in this case, we will be using the same method here, okay, which we have used before. Now there will be some change in URL. Example, the URL here will be alien. Now if you look at these two URL, both are alien, right? So both are for alien, but there's one difference. This will be for get request. This is for, for post request and this is for get request. Hey, how will I mention that? In order to mention that, we will be using a separate, you know, in fact, we have an option here, we can specify comma and then we can mention method type. But, you know, in the in the new uh, spring option, we have another, another option, which is post mapping and get mapping. So here we can use a post mapping. And whenever you want to go for a get request, you can use get mapping. By default is get, but you know, it's better to mention get mapping, post mapping, it, it makes more sense. Now there's one more thing, you know, if you don't want to mention response body every time, because if you are building a REST application, you don't need to mention response body every time. You just, you just need to do one thing. Instead of using controller, we will be using a REST controller. Now REST controller simply means that all the methods will be working for REST. You know, it will be sending a JSON or XML response and then it will be working with RESTful API or it will be a RESTful API. Okay, so those things are done. So we are sending alien request and it, it will accept an alien. Now we don't want to return a page. We just want to return, you know, the same data which we got. So I will say, I want to send the same data which I got. Uh, so I will return the alien itself. That's it. it. We are accepting the data and then we are adding the data in a database and then sending it. Will this work? Let's try. So what I will do is I will just launch the application. So let's go back to the postman and here if I click on send again, oh, it's working. Can you see that we got the response back the same data. Okay. But is it, uh, is it there on the server in the database? Let's verify. I will go back to my browser. Uh, so if you remember in order to access your database, we will use H2 hyphen console. We'll say connect. Okay. So let's fire the query. 
and it's there can you see that we got 106 we got priya and ml yeah it's there in the database so it's working in fact we can also verify by sending a get request we can say alien slash 106 is it there yes it is there right so there are multiple ways of verifying it so that's how you send a data in fact you can send a data directly using so let's say if I, if I go back to the body and if I say, hey, I don't want to use form data, I want to go for raw data, you can do that. You can type a JSON. In fact, I'm, I'm lazy here, so I will just use one of the best feature, copy paste. And I will say this is 107 and we'll use a name as Gordon and we'll use a technology, let's say robotics. Okay, and in this case, I will click on send. Okay, we got an error, it's not working. What went wrong here? Okay, so what went wrong? In fact, if you observe the database, it is inserting zero, null and null. Now, in this case, when you use a raw data, what you have to also do is on the server side. So we have to use one of the annotation, which is called as request body. So when you are sending using as a raw data, which is JSON, normally that's how you do it, right? That's how you work on web services. You send a raw data. So we have to use a special annotation called as request body just to enable it. So let's relaunch the application and open Postman and click on send. So when I click on send, you can see we got one more error. Now we have to change one more thing. So instead of sending a text, we are sending a JSON. That's what we have to mention. So we'll select JSON here, click on send and it's working. You can see we got AID as 107, we got A name as Gordon and tech as robotics. So data is getting added. Uh, we can verify from, from database, it will work. In fact, we can say 107 and let's send a get request just to verify it is there. And it's there, can you see that we got the response? So it is there, nothing wrong, everything is working. If I go back to my server, what if I want to specify what type of data I'm consuming? Maybe I don't want to consume, because see, when you say uh, produces and consume, so we, this, this, these are two different words we have to remember. Whenever you send data from a server to a client, so a server is producing, right? So that's a produce. When a server is accepting data from a client, that is consumes. Okay, so we have to remember those two words. So whenever you accept data from a client, in that case, you can mention what type of data you want to accept. So you can mention, so this is for path. Then we can give a comma, then we can say consume. So you can specify what you want to consume. So you can say, hey, I want to consume only JSON. So you can say application.json. And now when you send data in XML format, it will not work. So this is how you consume data on the server side. So everything works, the get is working, the post is working. What about update and delete? That we'll see in the upcoming videos. So I hope you're enjoying this series. Let me know in the comment section. And if you are liking my videos, just to motivate me, click on the like button there. And thank you so much for watching.